Hey guys, Teacher here and welcome back to another tutorial episode. In today's video I am going to show you step by step how you can build this nice looking mangrove starter houseboat design for your survival and creative worlds. And to be honest, I actually never built boats in Minecraft. This is actually one of the very first that I have ever designed. And to be honest, I am very satisfied with the result. As you can see, I have used a lot of spruce wood as well as some of the newer 1.19 blocks because this is a 1.19 tutorial, so I I kind of had to. Anyway guys, as you can see, I have used lots of tiny details like the trapdoors, uh, a small spot to, uh, to keep fish. Uh, I have also added uh, some interior, although we do not have a lot of space in here, so I only I could only place a bed and a workbench, but whatever. In my opinion, this boat could be a great addition to your mangrove cities and villages. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. First off, we have all the blocks that you might need for this boat. So now we can actually start building the boat itself. You're going to start doing this by creating a small platform out of four spruce planks two blocks beneath the water surface. So this is one and that is two. So you might be left with this four spruce planks in the middle of the water. Next to the spruce planks, you are going to place one spruce slab as well as three on each side. Right over here. Uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very glad shaders have been released for 1.19 Although for this tutorial it, it would have been better if I did it without shaders But I just like them so much so I'm going to keep them. I hope it's clear <laughs> Yeah on the other side of the spruce planks you are going to place two more slabs Like this on top of the small platform that you just created you are going to place nine spruce planks starting over here one two three four five six seven eight nine you might also want to place some spruce trapdoors on the following spots one over here 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 and one over here now looks like some kind of submarine you might want to turn this spruce plank line into a spruce plank platform by placing two extra layers of spruce planks over here. After that you're going to punch out the following blocks because we don't want these. Instead of spruce planks you're going to change these spruce planks into upside down spruce stairs facing into the following direction. You might also want to remove this trapdoor. That one was my mistake. On the other side of your platform, you are going to place one spruce slab over here, one spruce stair facing in this direction, one spruce plank, one more spruce plank, another spruce plank, another spruce stair facing into the other direction, as well as two spruce slabs and one spruce trapdoor. You're going to do this on the other side as well. One spruce slab. One, oh, one spruce stair, spruce plank, spruce plank, spruce plank, another spruce stair, spruce slab, spruce slab, and a spruce trapdoor. Over here, you're going to place some strip spruce logs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. And over here, you're going to place one spruce stair and another spruce stair. So that means two spruce stairs, not one, but you get it. On top of this block you are going to place one spruce slab. And on top of the stairs you're going to place a full block of spruce planks. You might then extend the spruce stairs by one block and place a stripped spruce log on top. So it looks like this. So now underwater we are going to place one spruce slab and one spruce trapdoor on both sides. In the middle you are going to place one block of acacia planks as well as acacia stairs. Beneath the full block of acacia planks you are going to place an acacia trapdoor. Next to the acacia trapdoor you are going to place one spruce trapdoor with a full block of spruce planks on top. You might do this on each of the trapdoors. 
Next to the full blocks, you're going to place spruce stairs facing outwards with full blocks on top. Next up, you will place more spruce stairs facing outwards like this. Five times. On top of the front block, you're going to place one spruce slab. And as you can see over there, we are also going to place two spruce trapdoors over here. As well as one on top of the stripped spruce logs. On top of the block behind your spruce slab, you're going to place one mud brick with a spruce fence on top. On the other side of your boat, you're going to place two spruce planks behind the stripped spruce logs, as well as one spruce stair. Also here on the back side, we are going to place one block of acacia planks, one block of acacia stairs with one block of acacia planks on top of it with also acacia trapdoors beneath and next to the full blocks. Next to the stairs you're going to place a block of spruce planks. You might as well connect them with each other by doing this. On top of the first spruce planks you're going to place another full block of spruce planks with two blocks of stripped spruce lock next to them. You're going to finish up these stripped spruce logs by spruce stairs. Over here you're going to place spruce trap doors with full blocks on top of them. Might as well connect them with each other once again. And then over here two more spruce stairs connected with each other by a spruce slab. And god we have finished the base of the boat. <laughs> this was probably the most intricate part of the build guys. So it's only going to get more easier from here. Also I forgot you might want to place some spruce slabs over here. There you go. Over here you're also going to place one spruce slab. One spruce trap door. One more spruce slab. Not over there. Over there. And another spruce trap door. Also over here spruce trap door. Spruce slab. Spruce trap door. Spruce slab. Over here you're going to place oak trap doors, one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here to surround the corners. Ben uh, in between those spruce trap doors you're going to place one spruce stair with a spruce trap door on top. Also over here we're going to place one, two, three spruce trap doors, or I mean oak trap doors, one, two, Three, so you have three oak trap doors on both sides with a small entrance in the middle. We're also going to do this on the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three. You're going to decorate the uh, spruce uh, pillars by using spruce trap doors. One, two, three, four. Like see over here, and in between those trap doors, you are going to place spruce buttons three times. Also on the other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You might want to replace the middle spruce button with a spruce trap door so you can get up the boat from the water. That uh, makes it a little bit more easy. On top of the stripped spruce lock over here, you're going to place a spruce sign. Bam bam. You're going to do the same on the two at the back side. Cover them up with some signs. Next up we are going to create some buoys just as you can see over there. I hope I pronounced it right. For this we are going to use grindstones as well as... I was looking for chains but th there they are. Chains. <laughs> Nice. For this we are going to create some buoys, or grindstones I mean, to create buoys uh, by placing one spruce trap door uh, next to the block over here. One chain beneath it, as well as one grindstone beneath the chains, as you can see over here. Do this on the other side as well. Spruce trap door, chain and a grindstone. Not over there, over here. I actually never used grindstones before, but... Uh, I was looking for a block that could represent a buoy and these just work, just work amazing to be honest. I mean they do not exactly connect with each other but from over here it, it looks perfectly fine. We're also going to do it on the front side. You're going to place spruce slabs on top of the following full blocks. 
a spruce trapdoor next to them, one chain block, and one grindstone. On the other side as well, spruce slab, or a trapdoor I mean, chain, and grindstone. Very nice. To be honest, these are actually my favorite additions to the boat, uh, altogether. Now it is time to fill up the entire boat by using jungle planks. There you go. Oh. Like this. Over here you're going to place one spruce stair block. Like that. As well as two mangrove logs over here on each side. Then over here you're going to place two more mangrove logs on each side. And on top of those mangrove logs you're going to place spruce trapdoors. And in between those spruce trapdoors you're going to place spruce slabs on each side. As an extra decoration, place spruce buttons over here. In the middle of the boat, punch out three blocks and place three acacia trapdoors there instead. We are going to then open them and place some barrels over here. This is going to be your major storage room. Or room, <laughs> the place where you can store your items. Because yeah, it is a starter boat. You could also place additional barrels all over the boat, but that is something for you to decide. Behind the oak trapdoors, you're also going to place more spruce trapdoors. Like this. And after that, we are going to cover up the floor with a combination of brown carpets and moss carpets. Next up, it is time to start building the tiny house on top of the boat, which you see right over here. We're going to start doing this by placing one pillar out of mangrove logs, three blocks high, behind the following oak trapdoor. You're going to do this on the other side as well. And one block apart from that mangrove lock, you're going to place another pillar of mangrove logs on both sides. Lastly, you will build two final pillars over here. So now you are left with six pillars of three blocks tall out of mangrove logs. In between the mangrove logs, you're going to fill up the space using jungle planks. And after that, you're going to replace some of the jungle planks with mud bricks or with regular mud. Not too many, just a few. Make sure the top blocks are out of stairs. These could be jungle stairs or mud brick stairs. There you go. In between these pillars, we are going to replace the middle block with a jungle trapdoor. Which is going to act as some kind of tiny window within your house. Also over here, we're going to place jungle stairs. As well as on this side. And of course, this is going to be your entrance. So beneath this trapdoor, we are going to place one jungle door. Next to the front pillars, place one ladder. Also, I made a tiny mistake. This, uh, this uh, jungle stair should be a spruce trapdoor. Also, we're going to replace the spruce block over here with a spruce stair. Like this. On top of the spruce stair, we are going to place one gate. Like that, which is going to be your entrance to the backside of your boat. On the front and back side, we're going to place two spruce fences next to the mangrove pillars. Now it is time to start building the roof. And that is also going to be a little bit intricate because I used a very, well, let's say, a curious or peculiar uh, design. Uh, I just did some random things and it just turned out to, to work. So I'm going to show you how to build it. You're going to place mangrove slabs next to your jungle logs. Or I mean mangrove logs. Oh, so many wood types in Minecraft these days. Like this. Next to the slabs, you're going to place mangrove trapdoors. Like this. And on top of those trapdoors, you're going to place another trapdoor. Boom. That looks nice. The second row is going to consist of mangrove stairs. Like this. Shouldn't be too difficult, in my opinion. Then you're going to replace the middle block with a full block of mangrove slabs. Or just two slabs stacked on top of each other. It gives the same result. You will connect the stairs with each other by using an upside down mangrove stair like this. On top of the mangrove stairs you're going to place another mangrove stairs facing inwards. 
on both sides with an upside down mangrove stair block facing outwards next to that mangrove stair. How many times have I set mangrove stair? No idea, let me know in the comment section, whatever. <laughs> next to the mangrove stairs, you're going to place more mangrove stairs. <laughs> so many mangrove stairs. And in the middle, you're going to connect the mangrove blocks with each other by using more mangrove blocks. And on top of those mangrove blocks, you're going to place more mangrove planks. Mangrove blocks, mangrove planks. Oh my. Seriously, guys, I had a very hard day, okay? I had a very busy working day. I've talked a lot because I work in uh, in the zoo, so you talk a lot with people. You get the point. I'm just done talking, but I have to record this video, which I find very fun, by the way. So don't get me wrong, but that's why my talking isn't isn't going very well. Okay, I'm sorry. Over here, another mangrove stair facing outwards, like this, and then your roof is almost finished because we still have to add a little flag to the top. We're gonna do this by placing one mangrove fence on the middle block with a green wool in between with another mangrove fence on top. And over here we're going to place one sign wool, but obviously you could use any wool type that you would like. Or you just don't add a flag at all because it's not a very necessary element. It's just a fun one that adds a little bit more detail to your boat. Also for decoration you can place some moss carpets. This is what we did with the other... Um, the other mangrove starter house tutorial, if you haven't watched that one yet, I highly recommend you to do so. If you're still looking for a starter house, the link is uh, right over here, go, go ahead. And uh, yeah, and finally, as some extra details and to also make it more like a starter house, you could add a lantern over here to prevent mobs from spawning on your boat. You could add some extra barrels, a furnace over here, a crafting table over here, maybe some cobweb that could represent fishing nets as well as a boat inside the house. And with that guys, you have finished your mangrove starter houseboat design. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please be sure to leave a like on the video as well as subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. Next week, I'll be back with finally another speed build. I'll be building a cozy farming village in the plains next to a forest, but you will see more of that later. Anyway guys, have a very nice day and see you next time. Bye bye. I am finally going to bed because it's 11 p.m. and it was a very busy day. Why am I still talking? I have actually no idea. I really don't. Also, the download link for this uh, boat is available on my uh, on my Patreon for free, by the way. The, the link is in the description. I don't like cheese. I don't.